What up my people? So I thought I would bring you guys this video. It is the first ever Halo Reach game that I had. Um, so yeah, as you can see, as I'm figuring out the controller here. But yeah, this is the first game ever. It is Classic Slayer on uh, the Cage, which is one of my favorite maps. Um, it's a pretty uh, okay game. I get a lot of kills. I don't. I didn't track my deaths, um, but I'm assuming that there's a lot of those as well. Um, but I thought I'd bring the, vi the the video out and just kind of talk about what I like about the game, what I don't like about the game, now that I've been playing it for like about a week. Um, and so the more I play the game, the more I like it. Um, it's very addicting uh, because it's very hard to get good at. And, uh, you know, in Modern Warfare, you can just kind of run in and not think. And as long as you're working on getting a kill streak or two, you're going to run a high KD. I mean, every time. Um, if you're quick with the twitch and you know what I mean you grab a couple of decent guns even if you don't have decent guns you're gonna do well anyway so uh, it's not like that I mean it's really you got to think in this game it, it plays more like the sport of modern warfare it, it's a I mean it's just it feels like it's designed to be played as a team game um, and and it's really neat um, I really like it uh, so, I'm, well, I gotta say, I, I'm, it's a balance. I like it, and I'm frustrated by it, because a lot of times I just do not get why I'm, I don't get why there's no ground there. Like, obviously, it's a design flaw on a level, uh, maybe not, but, uh, yeah, I just jumped off the edge. That was pretty, pretty sweet, but, uh, a lot of times I, I, I get spam, DMR spam from across the map, um, as fast as a guy can fire, and I'm getting five and six shotted from him. Um, which is not supposed to be able to happen because of the bloom and all that crap. But uh, I did do pretty decent in this game, I think, because I had actually gone online and read up a little bit about bloom and what weapons are what and kind of like how they work a little. So I had a little bit of advantage. This is the first night. This is right after. I got out of work at like midnight and went right to GameStop, picked it up, came home. This is my first game. But uh, so that had helped me doing a little bit of research online. Um, I think the, the DMR replacing the battle rifle and the rhythm firing aspect of the bloom um, of all the weapons that have bloom is really neat um, I still think that they basically should just get rid of the assault rifle uh, in my opinion is pretty much fucking useless um, let me put it to you this way so you're a super fucking advanced soldier from the future that can use rocket packs and turn invisible and uh, can like generate shields and all sorts of space shit goes on uh, but the primary weapon you're outfitted with is a marshmallow cannon that barely damages enemies. Um, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I guess maybe really what it is is that the armor department, like the different departments of the Spartan government, the different parts of the, of the Spartan Pentagon or whatever, there were different ones and the diff there were ones that did very well and they developed things like armor which works very well. And uh, the grenade department, obviously there are successful talented people working for the Spartan grenade department because they have some ass fucking ass kicking grenades they are awesome but the Spartan assault rifle department someone got fired seriously someone they were like you this is what you have it looks pretty cool let me fire it well it doesn't really do anything so you're fucking fired dude uh, the handgun department beat out the assault rifle department. I mean, the Magnum has got... I mean, it's a much better weapon. So I just don't really understand. I think they should just take the assault rifle and just fucking throw it away and use the DMR. I think that any self-respecting actual, like, military organization that had those two guns would never outfit their soldiers with, with the assault rifle over the DMR. It doesn't make any sense. So, just remove it. But that's just my opinion. Um... I've been playing a lot of, uh, different kind of game types. I like Team Arena a lot. I found the... I do mediocre. I'm a mediocre player there, uh, but I like the team aspect. I like the uh, the scoring system is pretty sweet. So if you haven't played Team Arena, um, it is a you know a team game 4v4. You can play Team Arena doubles as well if you'd like. But what you got is you know your overall kills are gonna dictate whether you win the game or not. But really the point of the game is to get a high rating, and the rating sets you and puts you in. Uh, the, the way the ratings work is it has to do with how you're rated for getting into divisions and playing in seasons and it's it's I'll tell you what I don't really get it, it it's pretty complicated but it's cool I mean it's kind of like a sport so uh, but the way that you get a high rating it doesn't necessarily have to do with your KD 
it has to do with the amount of medals you get, it has to do with the amount of assists you get, um, it has to do with your kills and your deaths, so it has to do with all those things. But one thing I can say that I really did appreciate about how the, the, uh, the uh, team arena was designed is that uh, assists count so, so much against, uh, for your rating. Um, you can do quite poorly in kills and uh, get a uh, high number of assists and still do quite well. Um, which I think is great. I've actually uh, had on my uh, team before where I was in first place in rating but like in last place in kills because I had gotten so many assists. So, and I think that's neat. I mean, it really shows that they're, Bungie's focusing on this being a team a game. They uh, want to uh, kind of respect that team aspect of the game. So if you're playing like a team, you're going to do much better. Um, but... Uh, the other thing I was kind of commenting or thinking in my head and, and commented on while I was playing this game, I did find it interesting that some of the, the way that the maps are laid out and the, the weapons are laid out. So similarly to Boardwalk, Cage has a sniper at the low end of the map, so does Boardwalk, um, whereas the power weapons like Covenant uh, Rockets there, that Covenant Sticky Gun, well, you'll probably flame me in the comments because I don't know the name of it, but uh, it... Like in Boardwalk, it's in the service tunnels. On this map, it's underneath, uh, you know, the far side of top control there. I don't know what the name of the area is. But, uh, and I did find that very interesting balance aspect. Um, although on Boardwalk, I do believe there's a top sniper as well. Which only makes sense on a map of that size. But, uh, still, I think uh, Blue Spawn, I do believe, is top control on Boardwalk. is kind of overpowered to start off with. Closest to rockets, closest to the Covenant Cannon, closest to sniper, kind of kind of sucks but um the cage is a great map i, I uh, only have one map that i really really hate at this point and that's countdown um i can't stand countdown uh it it's a decent map uh i just think that there's it's too maze like there's no organization to where it is it's very hard for anyone any team to control any part of it um and i mean i think that's kind of what it's designed to be i, I think they succeeded in making it that way but i don't enjoy it um because it's Double just kill. too hectic. There's the people behind you constantly, um, beside you on the side. They're just everywhere, and of course, everyone's using, you know, uh, armor lock and all the loadouts, which are mildly annoying. But okay, they're part of the game. Um, but uh, yeah, so countdown, not so much. Uh, Pinnacle is a good map. Um, I like uh, what I say. Pinnacle, the cage, boardwalk. Um, I think reflection is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I think if they'd take out that third story uh, perch on reflection, it would be a much better map and actually cause people to play the map as opposed to playing that one part of the map. Um, I think if you if you you design a map that the players only ever go to, like here on the cage, you can see like we're playing in different areas. There's different places to go and different things to do. Like you're, you know, it's there, there's a variety of areas to try to engage enemy in. Whereas on Reflection, it's pretty much there's one part. Third story, you know, three story by the lift, go there. Because that's where everybody is the entire game. And it just, I don't know, I find it to be boring. Like, you know, move around a little bit, do something. Um, they also put the sniper up top there and rockets. Rockets are, uh, are placed well on Reflection, but uh, the sniper's at the top purge, which makes it, like, you know, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to take away top control and uh, break a setup there. But, uh... Yeah, and uh, I've never played Halo 2, so a lot of these maps are brand new to me, which if I, remember, if I understand correctly, like Pinnacle is Halo 2, Reflection is Halo 2. So I thought that was cool because it brings it back for the fans that, uh, you know, played Halo 2, and they're good maps. I mean, they're, they're regardless of if I like them or not, they're, they're decent maps, and they're pretty well designed. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so I wanted to ask you guys again. I had asked you previously, but I didn't really get any information. I have a couple of high-level, uh, high-scoring games, which I'm going to post up, but I also kind of want to see like what you guys are looking for. Um, I'm trying to get a perfection game now. Um, I've managed to get close. I've managed to get one death uh, a couple of times. Um, I do want to go ahead and try to do that. It does uh, make it hard, considering that I suck at Halo. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to jump off the edge there. You know, again, I don't want the, the enemy team to feel too much pressure, so oftentimes what I'll do is jump off the edge uh, in order to make them feel, you know, like they're doing okay. But uh, also helps if they're down a man to just kind of make your team down a man as well. Um, 
But yeah, also button layout and sensitivity is something a lot of people have been asking about, or I had a couple people ask about, a lot of people. Um, I'm running six sensitivity now and bumper jumper. Um, I don't use loadouts very often. I pretty much use sprint all the time. Um, I find that using loadouts, it doesn't, it's not effective for me. Um, you know, armor lock, for instance, you know, it just ends up getting you killed. Um, I know that when I see somebody armor locking, I'm just excited. I'm like, awesome, he's armor locked, he can't move, he's gonna sit there until his armor lock goes away, and we're gonna annihilate him. But, uh, so yeah, uh, that's kind of some of my thoughts about this. My first game of Halo Reach, I get 21 as my score. I think I got 24, 25 kills, but I kill myself a bunch. Uh, didn't have the presence of mind to go to the, uh, to the, uh, scoreboard screen there and show you guys what I got. But, uh, it was a lot of deaths. It was not awesome. Um, if anybody can tell me what that weird diamondy thing that blinks at you is called, I would love it. Uh, but yeah, so there's the first game, guys. I'm bringing you some more stuff. I think I'm gonna pop a Modern Warfare video in here next. But um, it was uh, always, as always, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasure. Have a wonderful day.